Hi everybody. So today we're going to be discussing male fertility. Again, this is part two of the series. So if you didn't get the basics, please go back and watch our previous videos. But today we're going to be continuing about how can we prevent us having low sperm counts, low motilities, um, and good sperm basically, yeah? so that we can conceive healthy babies. So if you're interested, keep watching. I'm Dr. Wanjiran Dagwa, and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. So there's a new study out that was published um, in the research world in July. And I think it's taken the world by storm. It was, it was um, on the Nation Daily, and I was called to actually give some advice, or you know, just give my views about what the study said. The study is talking about the decline of the human race um, because what they found in the study is that men's sperm count has reduced by about 50% in the last um, couple of years. Actually, the study was done from 1973 to 2011. And there's such a big sensational alarmist view about this. So I thought it's really important for me to talk about this and to give you what I think would be important and relevant for you in terms of your sperms. And I, I think it's a bit sensational. I will tell you that I do not um, totally agree with the study and that's one because it was in the West. It has no African base at all. People are arguing that yes, we don't have the African base because you don't do studies in Africa, Well, which is true, we don't do that many studies. But they are saying then it's probably worse in Africa and India. Um, where the studies were not done and in South America, those are the places that were removed from the study or they didn't do much. So I don't want you to be alarmist as we give um, this topic, but I do want you to be a bit more cautious about what you do that will affect your male um, sperm count. It's, um, you can check it out, you can check the study out, but it's, this study is, I mean, this video is more to put you at ease than to alarm you, yeah? So what we'll be discussing in this video is really the factors that are evidence-based that affect your sperm quality, yeah? So I'll get right to it. One is smoking, and I mean, this is nothing new. We know that the more cigarettes we have, the more pack years that we have, the more it affects our sperm in terms of the quantity, in terms of the way they move, and even the way they look. And it's basically because cigarette smoke uh, or shisha smoke or even chewing tobacco goes and it affects the um, antioxidants that we have, yeah? So it's toxic to any cell that really divides fast, which is our sperms divide very fast. So smoking, we're, it's not even, I mean, it's evidence-based. The more you smoke, the lower counts you have and the more likely you are to get problems conceiving. Another factor that affects your sperm quality is alcohol, yeah? So the more alcohol you take, the more hard drinks you have, the more um, likely that you ha are to have lower sperm counts, um, less uh, motility, or the way the, the sperm move, and the way they look may be abnormal. So we need to go easier on the alcohol. I mean, I think I'm not gonna be pick um, places, but I'm from some of the places where they say the men drink a lot and therefore the fertility rates are low. I don't know whether it's because of that or that because our women are super and use contraception, so you can guess where I'm from. Eh? Um, but alcohol does affect your sperm count. Another thing is obesity. We are not taking care of ourselves, we are not going to the gym, we're eating badly, fast food chains are, you know, coming into Kenya like um, it's the next best thing and we are having um, people who have higher BMIs and what this does it affects our hormones so men can also have hormonal imbalance and it decreases our testosterone level and testosterone for men is extremely important for sperm um, formation so we are finding that we have men who have less number of sperm and um, they don't swim as fast who are a bit bigger eh? so let's be careful let's exercise let's keep our weight down um, I want to talk about the reverse of obesity, which is the guys who go to the gym and are excessively trying to build the muscle, taking the creatine, maybe taking the testosterone um, supplements to look big and, and bodybuild. 
this is detrimental as well. Um, we are giving our bodies testosterone that is from without and not from within. And therefore, we reduce the production that our body is, is actually producing. And therefore, we actually reduce our sperm count. So we have had men who have very low sperm counts, low libidos, are not able to have an erection and, and an ejaculation because of this uh, bodybuilding um, stuff that you take. So it's important to keep a balance. We don't want you to be obese, but we also don't want you to be on the other part of really trying to get, um, you know, bodybuilding. Um, another factor is caffeine. I think as Kenyans, we're drinking more coffee. And I'm, there's research that has shown if you take uh, more than six cups of coffee as a man, it does reduce your sperm count and the way they move in terms of fast, um, of speed. So I think that's important to note. Um, another factor is the drugs we take. Yeah, and these are the medication that we take that we're given by the doctor. So men, um, it's important to ask whether these affect your fertility. Anti-hypertensive medication, that's blood pressure medications, may affect um, your fertility. Um, Anti-psychotic uh, or psychiatric drugs also affect your sperm quality and count. Um, other drugs, some antibiotics will actually interfere with the production. So it's important to, if you're conceiving, tell the doctor, okay, um, I, I can't take some of these drugs. Um, hormone drugs, like men who are on some treatments that um, increase your estrogen levels or your progesterone levels will interfere with your testosterone levels and therefore you will not be able, you won't be producing adequate number of sperms. So even as you make a doctor's visit, please ensure that if you're in the process of trying to conceive, tell the doctor that I'm trying to conceive and um, I hope these drugs do not affect my fertility. That being said, all these things do affect your fertility. But I think the wonderful thing about all these things that I've said is that it causes reversible damage. Meaning if you stop smoking, if you reduce on your alcohol or stop um, taking too much alcohol, if you reduce on your caffeine, if you lose weight and exercise, if you stop taking the drugs that, or the medications that affect your fertility, then you, it usually reverses. Eh? So this is a really good thing. So it, you are in the power to actually change your sperm counts or your morphology or your motility if these things are the ones affecting your your fertility so if you enjoyed this video if you learned something if you think that some other male needs to understand or get this information share the video subscribe to our channel comment uh, inbox us let us know what you feel or if you have questions yeah let us know um, I'm Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility where we walk with you